Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to make some seasonal artwork. It's going to be jack-o'-lanterns and we're going to use toilet paper rolls. We're also going to use some of the concepts that we learned early on about lines and shapes. Warm colors, orange and yellow, and the neutral color black. Hi boys and girls, Dr. D here. Today we're gonna to do a seasonal art piece. We're gonna make jack-o'-lanterns. And you may recall the jack-o'-lanterns are pumpkins, usually pumpkins, that have been carved in some way with some kind of face. And so here's what you'll need for this project. You can use empty toilet paper. You could use cups instead if you don't have the toilet paper containers. And you'll need a piece of plain paper, maybe a couple pieces of plain paper. You'll need a sharpened pencil with an eraser. You'll need either scotch tape or glue, depending on how you feel about that. You'll need a pair of scissors and you'll need some colors connected to jack-o'-lanterns. I have different kinds of oranges and a orange, yellow and black. All right, now this jack-o'-lantern I made by taking a piece of paper and folding it and taping it around and then coloring the whole section orange and putting, putting the face on it and sticking a little stem on it. And I, um, as you can see, the paper was a little bit longer than the actual toilet paper roll, so I stuffed that paper inside. You could do this, but maybe make your paper exactly the size of the toilet paper roll. That's up to you. Now this one was done by one of my children a long time ago. So you see the toilet paper roll, but they used orange construction paper and made a face. You're certainly welcome to do that, but many of you may not have orange construction paper at home right now. I know that I don't. So this is an option for those of you who might have orange construction paper at home. Okay, now here's what I've done. I've made several different jack-o'-lantern faces. This one and the top left, you see has very thick eye eyebrows, triangle nose, and kind of a funny mouth where the teeth are missing and sticking out. And I'm not sure what you think about him. To me, he looks like he's pensive and sad. And this jack-o'-lantern to the right of it I sort of made half moon eyes, a triangle nose, and this big oval mouth. And I feel like this jack-o'-lantern might be howling. This jack-o'-lantern looks a little bit mean, dangerous. So we have these skinny triangles for his eyebrows and then sort of a kind of a not a complete square or rectangle for his nose, but it's not completely closed in. And then jagged lines for his teeth. And then this one looks like a happy, happy jack-o'-lantern. Big eyes and a big mouth smiling. Now, I have colored some of them with yellow on the inside where the eyes are or the features, facial features. And sometimes I've done it with black. I've colored the outside with orange, but I've often put bits of yellow in the orange. And this, for this character right here, I used a different orange. All right, so that's something you can do at home. You can make up any kind of face you want. You can also uh, look at the internet for jack-o'-lantern faces because there's lots and lots of examples that children can do for jack-o'-lantern faces. So let's take the happy one today and we're gonna cut it out. And something I failed to mention at the beginning is I use this container to create my circles so that my circles fit, worked well on the toilet paper roll. All right, so there you have it. Now, I could use glue if I want to, or I could use tape. And today I've just decided to use tape, but either one will work well. So if you roll it around like that, and put it on the back in a couple spots. All 
and then you attach it to the toilet paper roll. Now, if you'd like, you can color this with magic marker or crayon, or you can just leave it as it is. But you have a simple jack-o'-lantern. And as I said, if you had a lot of toilet paper rolls or cups, you could make a, a lot of them with different characters, uh, different face, facial expressions. So I hope to see your art piece. Please send me a picture of it. This is Dr. D. Have a good week.